Welcome back to Red Carpet Coverage of Tech Stars Columbus, powered by The Ohio State University. My name is Elio Harmon with 614 Startups, and I'm back again with another founder who's going to be presenting on this very, very big night. I'm here with Gleb of, what's the company name again? It's Aspect Health. All right, Aspect Health. Gleb, I got a sneak peek at your pitch, and I was quite impressed, but what I love most is your personal story that inspired you to start this company. Do you mind sharing your personal story with us? Yeah, sure. Well, I think that for me, everything uh, has started in my childhood. Um, at the age of 10, I was diagnosed basically with infertility. My doctor told me that I would never be able to have kids. And as a kid, I didn't want to accept this reality. It was just the beginning of my life. I told him that you have six years to figure this out for me. He said that he couldn't do anything about it. So I decided to went into medical university and figure out the solution for myself by myself. And uh, fortunately succeeded in that. And now I want to try to find more people who go through something similar and help them. Okay, so inspiring story, a story of determination and grit and the willingness to solve your own problems. But your company today, tell us about how that work, that life story is now coming to life in your company. Sure. Um, well, basically, as the first step, we decided to focus on this condition called PCOS, which is polycystic ovary syndrome. It affects one in ten women in the U.S. and is the major cause of infertility um, in the U.S. in general. And so what we do is we found that the solution is pretty easy. Easy is in, It lies in lifestyle modification. So we provide these women with at-home hormonal tests and continuous glucose monitors. You probably saw this on diabetics. And then we use all this abundance of data to understand what actually in their lifestyle triggers problems with their infertility. For some women, it is about their menstrual cycle. For some, it is about nutrition. We identify those triggers and we effectively eliminate them through health coaching. Yeah. Now, what is the perfect time for you? It was caught young and you were given no options. How young is that ideal customer profile? At what point? whether they have a, some underlying condition that would make them concern or just general health monitoring for the general public or women in general, what's that perfect time that folks need to start thinking about it so that if there is an issue, they can try to address it? That's a very good question. Um, so for women with PCOS, um, they, most of them have genetic predisposition for basically for their body behaving in a weird way to some of the food. And most of them don't know about that, and they start discovering that at their basically 15s, 20s. And they see disturbance in the menstrual cycle, uh, but they actually get diagnosed with PCOS, usually at their 30s, when they try to get pregnant. Um, and uh, most of our audience lies in this spectrum from 30 to 36, 37, when they're trying to conceive and they can't. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, and, and that's a big window now. A lot of uh, uh, people in this generation and probably generations to come, women are choosing to conceive at later dates. So having an option for when they do try to go to conceive and identify some of the issues that might lead to uh, infertility, I think you're doing some uh, uh, very, very important work. Now, this is 12 weeks of rigorous, sometimes grueling, time-consuming work. What was the toughest part of it for you? Huh. Uh, I think that for us, I would say the most exciting part was to be co-located uh, with my co-founder. Um, I've been spending a lot of time in Europe previously and he's in New York. So when we finally got an option to be co-located, we actually rethought our strategy and we realized how we can even expand our market. Um, and um, I think these hard conversations about you know, how we should better position ourselves, where do we find more users? Um, through, through the help of mentors um, that Techstars provided to us, we were able to resolve these questions. In addition, raised $1 million in pre-seed funding, which was also a significant achievement. All right, well, you got a lot to celebrate tonight. I won't hold you much longer. I got one more question for you, and then you could go have a lot of fun and then have the, uh, a big pitch tonight. What's next for you? After all of this is said and done and the crowds go away, what's next for you and your company? Well, um, we have doubled our monthly revenue in the last three months, and we want to quadruple it in the next three months. Uh, so we're effectively going to lever leverage this $1 million in pre-seed funding to invest it into our acquisition of new users and uh, hopefully grow much faster. All right, let's keep that accelerator going, not just here, but after you leave. Gleb, thank you so much for joining me on the red carpet. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. All right. All right, folks, there you have it. More founders to come. Stay tuned.